So good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. I know it has been a long time. We have been off work for about a month now. Uh, we finished up a project. I went on vacation and didn't want to start this current project until we were done. So, uh, But today's Monday. We're starting a brand new bathroom remodel y'all. We've got actually two on this house. We're going to start with a master bathroom, get it completely finished and work on the guest bathroom doing basically the same thing. But it's going to be the typical bathroom where we're gutting out the uh, commode, the tub, the shower, the countertops, the vanity, the flooring, everything, and putting all new stuff back in. So check it out. This is what it looks like before. Y'all have seen before, we're taking the tub out, taking the shower out. This closet here is going to actually stay, but we're raising, put a new shower head up here. Going to take that shower head, raise it up seven feet like we normally do. Full glass all the way, I believe, throughout. Over here, you can see we got the vanity, taking the vanity completely out. I'm going to put a shorter one in. It's going to be like a 79 or 82 inch vanity. Uh, all new flooring, new commode, new paint, new electrical. Hi, Ralph. New electrical. We're going to put electrical up top. I'm going to put a can light in over here, uh, can light in over there. We have a lot to do. y'all so the tub and showers out everything is out it's looking good they've actually built this thing pretty well so now we got a lot of cleanup you got all the sheetrock right here all that's got to go downstairs and that's not the fun part of the job but let's get it gone so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one all right y'all so it's day two of the bathroom remodel i guess the bathroom demo portion of the remodel uh, we got everything out yesterday, the heavy tub, the sink, um, the shower base, like everything out. So today we're going to finish the floor. We've got to cut out the sheetrock where the new cabinet's going to go because I've got to move all the plumbing. So we'll get all that cut out today. We're going to cut the floor out to move the floor drain, move all the water over in the back wall. So we got a whole lot of plumbing to do today. So let's go get it. All right, y'all. So that's what I'm talking about right there. We've got to cut all of that sheetrock out and expose all this plumbing because those drains have to move in and that drain has to move in to accommodate the smaller vanity that's going back in there we have about 96 inches from here to here and the vanity is like 82 so everything's got to come in <laughs> Alright guys, so we got all the sheetrock off the wall, we got the cabinet unboxed and measured, and even sometimes the pros mess up. We've taken all the sheetrock out, all the plumbing off, everything off the wall. Every vanity that we've ever done, they give you a 12 inch square to work with. This one basically is the entire vanity size. So all that being said, we didn't have to cut out the sheetrock. We could have just left it as is, but now we got to put new sheetrock back in, tape, float, texture, and paint it. So, because we didn't measure first and then cut. Sometimes that happens. <laughs>
gonna be it for today. Sorry we didn't vlog a whole lot of the shower, uh, the plumbing installation. It's kind of hard when you got two guys that you need both sets of hands to film something. So we got some of it, didn't get all of it, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You saw what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like after. Check it out. So we got all this plumbing in today. We got the new drain, that's the new drain. Feed traps in there. All the water lines connected, comes up here. This is actually a really cool device. This is gonna be for a rain head and a secondary shower spray. So this is the secondary shower spray, and there's gonna be the big rain head up there coming down. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Got all it plumbed up, check for leaks. You can see we're pressure testing. Pressures look good, so, so far so good. 